That's him. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Ah! Hey, man, watch it! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Man, I'm getting really fucked up here. Triangle, square, circle, something. X, no. sucking so badly at this chickens he's unleashing the chickens at me First-person shooter. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Fuck. Eh. Uh, why can't I control? Oh, shit. There we go. Where the hell is he? Where Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. Shit. Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Where the fuck is Blake? That's a very, very good and legitimate question. Oh, there he is! X, 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 X! Oh, this guy really doesn't like me. Oh shit, wrong button. Is that square? No, that's square. Or er, circle. Am I dead? Do you die? I guess so. All over. I hope not.
There you go. That'll get you through the day. Well, I still want to know what, or I want to know what the hell happened to that the FBI agent. Papers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. Maybe I, I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. I've seen the parents of all the victims, and all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. What is that? Looks like it's looks like it's like a bottle of tomato sauce or something. Who the hell just opens up the fridge and just starts eating the tomato sauce? I do. Actually, no, I don't. Okay, well, there's nothing. There's nothing for us here. Let's leave. He wasn't gonna be like, wait, I've got to do something. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this isn't the door out. So it's fairly obvious he used to be a police officer. Who's that? You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Oh. Uh, Let me take your coat. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. to drink it himself for a second. Thanks. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope.
It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Diplomatic. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. I guess we're at the address of the envelope. Uh. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Well, at least his partner's, you know, somewhat attractive. <laughs> what are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Hmm. Apparently he's got a pretty rockin' party on the inside here. Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. I like the uh, chick that's just standing in the middle of everything, like really crappily dancing. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? Okay. Out of the way. Excuse me. I I'm looking for Gordy. Uh, I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. Okay, well, get out of my way. I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Don't I have a badge? Let me flash the badge. Persistent. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. Really? You're gonna give up? If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Out of my way. Uh, okay. <sighs> Hi. 
Hi, I'm Scott. This guy looks like he's totally stoned. For Have you seen him? Well. Some pretty groovy music. Can I go outside? Out of the way. Out of the way. Wonder if I can like climb up and see him. I don't think there's anything even out here. Fuck. Okay. Well, this is useless. Can I talk to this guy? Nope. Where's my partner chick? Maybe she can help me out. This is like the weirdest party ever. Whiskey straight up, no ice. Well, that got us far. Oh, well, well, obviously, straight for the toilet. There we go. Okay, well, that got us really far. Gonna make sure I don't wash my hands. Let's go feel up one of these chicks now. What the fuck? <laughs> There's just some dude, like, passed out in the middle of the pool table. Oh wait, what's over here? Right, this is just for me to sit down. Okay, well, goodbye. God, this party's so lame. I'm trying to think if I can, like, climb up or something. Maybe one of these people can help me. Maybe the chick dancing in the middle of the table can help me. Yeah. I can't talk to her. Can anybody help me? Whoa. You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What he say? Ah, this is really disorienting. Bye. Why are you saying about my money? You 
Ah, you get wild with me, my little friend. And you, you know who I am? Well, <laughs> what the hell is he watching? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh, this is the best part. No, it's not. <laughs> They're all the same. I love, I love, okay, sorry. I just love that he's entranced with this Scott crappy Shelley. cartoon. I'm, detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Rather than the two hot chicks next to him <laughs> making out. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the worst cartoon ever. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? Okay, well. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Yeah, not buying it. Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! God damn it! actually got it right. I really suck. No! I can't I hit the circle button. Square. No, that was circle. God damn it. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? No. He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. God, what a badass. I'm, I'm talking about Shelby, considering he just took on two guys you know, who are in infinitely better shape than he is. 
you do, you know, dude, it's really not that funny. In fact, it's not funny at all. Okay, well, something tells me that our FBI agent is probably dead. So, I'm still wondering if he's really the origami killer. For some reason, I don't believe him. But we'll see. This way? Dude, it's like three stones. You really... <laughs> he, go, he goes back down them. Dude, come on. You don't need my help to do this. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh. I'm pressing X instead of circle. Why can't I hit the right this circle button ever. It's always the one that messes me up. No, no. <sighs> I just wanted to walk in the front door. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. There's got to be a way into the building. Might be able to find an entrance if I go around the building. It might be a trap. I had better be careful. The main entrance is blocked up. There must be another entrance somewhere. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So, am I looking for a butterfly? This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. Well, this is leading us nowhere fast. Oh, there's the butterfly. Found it. Nailed it. What do I do with it? Wait, there's nothing I can do to it? It's very clearly... They all have butterflies on them.
Oh, whoops. Oh, you'll be fine. Come on, you've only got like eight broken ribs. A little scratch isn't going to bring you down. Um, something tells me I'm going to get electrocuted here. Or something. Oh, well, there's the butterfly again. Yeah. 